Good morning, Rangers! Today is November 14, 2023. I'm Jordan. And I'm Jamie. Welcome, Welcome back, back to CTV. Today, girls basketball has a game against Sweeney at Clemens from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Girls and boys soccer trials will be held the week after we return from Thanksgiving break. Remember to have your physical updated to participate. Big congratulations to Coach Bernstein for winning Boys Head Tennis Coach of the Year. Now on to Noah's clip with the swim team. This is Clemens Swim at Fort Bend Classic! Starting to be off strong, Alexis Wolfie, Charlize Tran, Sophie Pan, and Kayla Fu win the 200 medley relay. Boys Ethan Chen, Michael Wang, Anderson Wynn, and Kenny Tran also did amazing, placing fourth out of 39 teams. After diving into the pool, Winston Wynn and Jacob Weimer ferociously race, keeping competition stiff, finishing less than a second behind each other. Freshman, Ethan Chen dominates the 100 IM, racing 55 seconds as he's cheered on by Theodore Ho and Frankie Wu. We all know our Clement swimmers are very talented, but let's gain a little insight on how they did on the races. Hi, I'm Madeline and I'm aiming for a 109. Hi, I'm Madeline and I want a 107. But for my 1 AM, I'm trying to go under a minute. Uh, in my eyes, I want a 101. Hi, I'm Kai. I'm swimming 50 breast and I'm thinking of getting the 31. Hi, I'm Kai, and on the 50 breast, I got a 32. Hello, I'm Emily, and for my 50 freestyle, I'm aiming for a 26. I PR'd, but I did not go 26. My name is Ethan, and for my 100 IM, I'm aiming for a 56. Uh, this is Ethan, and I got a 55 on my 1 IM. For my 100 free, I'm aiming for a 59. I'm casting. This is me after a race, and we all talk about the time. This is Noah, and I'm trying to not disqualify. This is Noah, and guess what? I didn't DQ! Yeah! Thanks, Rangers. Ultimately, the Rangers showcase immense skill and rapid races, leading for the team to get second for the men and first place for the ladies. And in the end, when combining the scores, was the top placing high school. This is an immense feat done by the swimmers, so please don't forget to congratulate them. And don't forget... Back to the anchors! Thanks, Noah! Today we have a spirit day at Shake Shack. Don't forget to mention you're supporting Clements Navy Jural TC. Rangers semester exams are around the corner. 9th to 11th graders are required to fill out an exemption form. If you are a senior, you are not required to fill out a form. The CHS Academic Excellence Program is Monday, December 11th at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. Several FFA teams advanced to area in the District LDE FFA contest. Congratulations to the names on the screen. Clements freshman versus seniors tamale fundraiser are taking orders from November 1st through Thanksgiving. Don't forget to order your tamales. The 2023 Thanksgiving food drive ends on November 17th. The first period class with the most donations will get a donut party. The senior package is available on RevTrack. This includes a yearbook, a prom ticket, a senior trip ticket, and a senior sunset ticket. On November 28th from 9.30 to 4 p.m., seniors will be able to take pictures with Caddy on campus. Contact Caddy to schedule your appointment. November is Native American Heritage Month. The 2023 theme is celebrating tribal sovereignty and identity. Now on to Fletcher with a global report. Good morning, Rangers. I'm Fletcher, and here is your global report. First, from AP, conflict continues in the Israel-Palestine war as battles are forcing Palestinians out of hospitals in Gaza, leaving patients, babies, and medics stranded. The Israeli military has urged Palestinians to flee south on foot through what they call our safe corridors. Second, from AP, Los Angeles drivers are being pushed to use tr public transportation after a massive fire has closed the interstate. The cause of the fire still remains unknown as the flames were reported at around 12.20 a.m. on Saturday and ripped through the two storage lots beneath the highway, and thankfully, no injuries have been reported. The third story comes from London, where four men were charged over the theft of an 18 karat gold toilet from Blenheim Palace, the English mansion where British wartime general Winston Churchill was born. The toilet was valued at 4.8 million pounds, or roughly 5.95 million USD, and was titled America, and is intended to point out the satire about excessive wealth. Now that's all for today, Rangers. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Fletcher. Not at all over with today's weather. Good morning, Clint's Rangers. Let's take a look at our Tuesday's weather. After all the doom and gloom we saw on this weekend and on Monday, 
those days should mostly be over. We had just a little bit of rain this morning, just just a little bit of a mist in my opinion, but don't expect to see any more of that today. Because the clouds are moving well out of the Sugar Land area, we should see a very nice high of 70 degrees and a low of very nice 52. So definitely pretty great in both departments in my opinion. It's gonna be a whole lot better weather-wise for us Rangers today. So off and to CTV and that was your Sugarland weather. Thanks Oliver, that's all we have for today. I'm Jamie and I'm Jordan. Bye. Bye.